Hi and welcome. My name is Julianne Cost and in the next few minutes we're going to take a look at smart collections in Lightroom Classic. Now smart collections are based on search criteria that are specified in the smart collections dialog and the smart collection constantly searches your entire catalog dynamically adding or removing any photographs that meet or don't meet the criteria. Now by default we can see there is a set of smart collections in the collection panel. The first smart collection will find all of our images that have the red color label. And there's another smart collection that will find all of the five star images, images that were taken in the past month, recently modified images, video files, and those images without keywords. But let's take a look at how we would create our own. I'm going to click the plus icon and choose create smart collection. We can give this smart collection a name. In this case, I want it to find all of my two star and greater images that are bears. I want to save this inside of the Arctic collection set, and I can choose to match any, all, or none of the following rules. I'm going to start with the rating criteria, but we can see there are many more options. For example, we can set the flag or the label color as our criteria or the source, maybe the folder that's containing the files or the file name or type. There's also options for date and camera information, location and other metadata, as well as develop settings, size, color, and any searchable text. For now, I'll set this to rating and I'll wanna choose is greater than or equal to, and then two stars. Now, if I choose create, Lightroom Classic is going to look through my entire image catalog and find all of my images that have two stars or greater. But we can see that it's finding images that aren't bears, and that's because I wasn't specific enough. So in order to modify the Smart Collection, I can either right click on it and choose to edit the Smart Collection, or we can simply double click on it. Now I can add additional search criteria by clicking on the plus icon. This time I'll select other metadata and then choose keywords because when I imported the folder of images that had bears in them, I added the keyword bear. So I'll choose contains and then bear. Now when I choose save, Lightroom Classic is only going to show me all of the images that meet both those criteria. Now, if I wanted to remove one of the images from this smart collection, I could select it, but I can't tap the delete key because Lightroom is looking at the information and creating the smart collection based on that data. But what I can do is simply demote it. So instead of having two stars, when I click on one star, Lightroom Classic will automatically remove that because it no longer meets the search criteria. Again, I'll demote this image and this image. Now, if I want to add additional images to the Smart Collection, then we can return to the bare folder. I'll scroll up a bit, and then I'll add two stars to this image, and we can watch as the number grows for our Smart Collection as I continue to add two stars because more and more images are meeting the search criteria. All right, let's create another Smart Collection. I'll click on the plus icon, choose Create Smart Collection, and this time I want Lightroom Classic to find all of my Photoshop files that are in a specific folder. So we'll call this Arctic and then PSD. Instead of using the rating, I'm going to choose the source, I'll select the folder, and then contains the word Arctic. I'll click on the plus icon, Again, changing the search criteria to file name or type, and then choosing file type, and selecting PSD or Photoshop document from the list. I'll choose create. Now I forgot to save this in the Arctic collection set, so let's just drag and drop that right in there. All right, one more smart collection. I'll click the plus icon, choose create smart collection, and I wanna find my best photos of 2023. This time I'll be sure to save it inside the collection set. And for my first search criteria, I'll return to rating is greater than or equal to two stars. 
And for the second criteria, I'll choose date and then capture date is in the range and then specify the range. So in this case, 2023-01-01 to 2023-12-30. Then I'll choose create and we can see the results. One thing to note with smart collections, while you can select from any of the different methods to sort them using the menu, you can't have a custom sort order, meaning that I can't select an image and drag and drop it to change the order within a smart collection because it is dynamically adding and removing photographs based on the metadata. If you find that you're using smart collections all the time and you want additional search criteria, you should know that in the Smart Collection dialog, if you hold down the Option key on Mac or the Alt key on Windows, the plus icon will change to a hashtag. And if you click on that hashtag, you can choose whether any of the following are true, all or none of the following are true for each search criteria that you designate. Excellent. I'm Julianne Cost. Thanks for watching.